then, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the Gold Planet channel. First of all, if you guys are new around here, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below to keep up with all our equipment news, tour news, and much, much more going into the new year. If you guys are new around here, I'm Alex, the video and equipment editor here at Gold Magic, and today I'm bringing you an equipment review of the new Cobra Radspeed Fairway Wood range. If you haven't seen our previous videos on the Cobra Radspeed, we've already reviewed the Cobra Radspeed irons in variable length and one length, and also the Cobra Radspeed drivers from the normal to the XB and the XD. Today we're going to be reviewing three variations of the Cobra Radspeed Fairway Woods. The standard Cobra Radspeed, the Cobra Radspeed Big Tour and the Cobra Radspeed Tour. From this video you should be able to get a decent understanding as to which one would be right for your game if you're in the market for a new Cobra Fairway Wood. Let's get right into it. So the Cobra Radspeed Fairway Woods, this is an interesting one. If you haven't seen the Radspeed Driver review, there were three variations and you can kind of tell by the design of each product which one could be right for your game. The Fairway Woods are actually a little bit different. They are not under the product names of XB or XD. They have different names. So the Cobra Red Speed Normal, the Cobra Red Speed Big Tour, and the Cobra Red Speed Tour. You kind of understand just by the names of that which one could be right for your game, but let's talk about it a little bit now. So with the drivers, they had a normal Red Speed that was in a matte finish, and then they had the other two drivers, the XB and the XD, that were in a glossy finish. One might think that they would follow suit with the Fairway Woods, but because these have different product names, they haven't done that. So the first one we're going to look at is just the standard Cobra Red Speed, not anything else, and again, you would think, oh, maybe this is going to be the matte finish. This is the only glossy finish that we have today, and I'm not going to talk too much about the technology of these fairy woods, because we've covered it in various different types of detail for the irons and for the drivers. So if you want to talk about the radial weighting and stuff like that, head over to the other videos so you can check that out. So the Cobra Red Speed, just the standard one, not big tour or tour, it is interesting because it does have the glossy finish, and... I've got this at 14.5 degrees in the Moto X Fujikura stiff shaft, if I can get that out. And it does look quite similar to the XB model of the driver, which is, again, interesting for me. I thought maybe they'd title it XB, but no. It has the um, CNC Infinity Milled face, which the other two don't, which, again, slightly strange. I thought the new technology they would include in all of it, but this does suit the previous Cobra Fairwood line, so it does have that generational approach. So it is similar to the other models they released last year. Looking down at the club, it seems very easy to hit. So looking at it, it does seem that this one will be the more forgiving out of the three models. It is the glossy finish, so it depends if you like that or not. But to me, it just looks like a very easy to hit fairy wood that I wouldn't cancel out to any handicapped golfer that I think this is exactly what Cobra want to appeal to. Going on to the big tour. Now, this is interesting because it is still 14.5 degrees. All clubs have customization and adjustability, so you can change the degrees on each fairy wood that you have. But the big tour is a matte finish and it looks a little bit more well, hence the name, a little bit more tall professional, more to those lower handicap players. It still seems quite easy to hit, but with no CNC infinity mode facing, it just seems like the face is not as deep as the other one, and maybe I wouldn't recommend this on first glance to a higher handicap golfer. I could be wrong, and maybe it's just me looking at that matte finish and associating that with a lower handicap club because of the way in which Cobra have introduced their drivers, but... Yeah, tough one. I prefer this to the standard Rad Speed by a long, long way. The matte finish, if you are new to the channel, you may not know, but I'm a big fan of matte finishes on clubs. This looks stunning, and this one I would much rather put in my bag just on looks alone compared to the Rad Speed. The Cobra Rad Speed Tour in 17.5 degrees, so as a five wood, this one is, whew, this one looks tough to hit. I'll be very honest. The head of this one is very small, almost going into that hybrid range, but more like a pear drop rather than the hybrid shaping. I love it, but I don't think this is going to be easy to hit at all for a five wood. So again, first glance would not recommend this one to your higher handicap golfers. If you're a lower handicap golfer and are very confident with fair woods, yeah, give this one a try, but this is a small, small club. I'll put a comparison up on the screen now between the big tour and the tour, and you can see the difference in the sizing there. It's interesting, but the main thing here is I want to see how it performs in the launch monitor because, yeah, I think these are going to go a long way, especially the standard Cobra Rad Speed. As you can tell, I'm in Gray's Golf and Lewis right now, an amazing custom fitting facility in the southeast. So if you are looking to get custom fitted for clubs anytime soon, be sure to check this out. I did try and film a few days ago for this exact video, but unfortunately, being December, being in the UK, the weather's a bit doom and gloom, so I'm very blessed to have this facility available to me. Let's go now on the launch monitor, hit some balls and see how each three clubs perform and which ones could be right for your game. Let's get into it. So the Cobra Red Speed Fairway Woods, this is an interesting one. They are a bit different to the drivers in their product names, so 
I wasn't 100% sure as to which one would be the least forgiving, the most forgiving, but I had a decent idea and after hitting with each product, yeah, it was pretty much confirmed. So let's talk about the Cobra Rad Speed Fairway Wood to begin with. This was the one with the glossy finish with the slightly larger head that I thought was a little bit more forgiving. And that was exactly that. So I had the three wood in 14.5 degrees. And what I noticed is that similar to the Cobra Rad Speed Driver, it was quite difficult to actually hit offline. I was hitting it straight pretty much every single time. And the numbers I got were, yeah, pretty complimentary. I'll put the data up on the screen now, as you can see. Yeah, pretty good for a three wood for me. That's pretty much bang on the numbers that I'd expect from a three wood. Not the furthest but definitely in terms of distance yeah it's, it's getting out there the glossy finish it's one that i'm not particularly fond of for any type of club but the actual design of the cobra rad speed fairwood kind of with the gl glossy finish as well i'm gonna let that slide because i'm a big fan of the new rad speed range and although the glossy finish isn't my thing it's not the worst i've ever seen and i think it's more just a personal preference towards myself so i'm not going to put that towards the negative this is the fairway that I'd recommend any golfer to try, irrespective of their handicap, because if you're a high or low handicap, this club's going to work for you. It seems that the radial weighting they've put into this club, packed with the shaft and just everything that is put into the club, makes a top-notch, exceptional club that I'd recommend you try if you're in the market for a fairway woods. Now going on to the Cobra Big Tour Fairywood, this was an interesting one. I had a look at this club and I expected it to go a pretty long way, or might not be very forgiving. You can adjust the lofts on the club, so I've made it go down one degree, so it was 13.5 degrees. And I was thinking, with my distance, could I get this club to go 300 yards? What I noticed with this club to begin with is that yes, it is by name, the Big Tour, it is less forgiving than the Cobra Red Speed, by quite a considerable margin. My dispersion for when I was trying to hit a 300 yard shot was all over the place. When I towed it down a little bit and increased the loft to 14.5 degrees again, it was pretty good, but comparing it to the Cobra Red Speed Fairywood, yes, there is a difference there in that the Red Speed and the Red Speed Tour, as you would expect, the Red Speed Big Tour is less forgiving. Nevertheless, I did get that 300 yard three wood with the Red Speed Big Tour, which was pretty impressive for me. I've never actually hit a three wood 300 yards before on a launch monitor or on the course. So what I did there was I made the spin go down a little bit by using a Vice Pro Plus golf ball, loft, de lofted it a little bit and yeah, got it once. I was getting about 290 yards, but one absolute bomber off the, uh, off the fairway, not off the tee, managed to get 301 yards. My thoughts with this, who would this be for? If you are that lower handicap player who is, yeah, who's looking for that club that can go miles to maybe replace your driver to get that tight dispersion in comparison to a driver, yeah, go for the Red Speed Big Tour because it goes a long way. I'm sure you would have tried the Cobra Fairwoods in the past. This is just an evolution onto that and it goes a long way. They feel pretty similar to the Cobra Drivers as well, which if you haven't seen the video, I was ever so complimentary of them because they are top class clubs and the feel that you get off them for being a large commercial brand, I would have thought it would be maybe some sort of Japanese brand, but no, they are exceptional clubs. And yeah, if you're in the market for the lower handicap a player kind of fairway wood, yeah, try, I'd say still say try both of them because it's tough to really cool. But yeah, that, that one's definitely less forgiving than the other one. The Cobra Red Speed Tour in the five wood was the one that I mentioned was a very small head. And although that you could probably see, I was maybe a little bit skeptical as to how this club would perform. It did surprise me a little bit. I thought it was going to be the most unforgiving club I've ever hit. I wouldn't have hit a straight shot at all, but no, it did surprise me. It was more forgiving than the Big Tour, which again, for me, I was quite surprised with that. The Big Tour obviously a, a lot larger, but perhaps just because it's a five wood, I managed to get kind of need some dispersion a little bit. Not sure. But still, for me, the design is quite tough to actually get used to because of how small that five wood is. I'm more used to having a five wood be a pretty similar size to the three wood. But the difference in design there would definitely be something to get used to. This is by no means a negative, but I would say that, yeah, it's a tough one to go straight into and get a feel for. I did eventually start getting used to it and it was, it was pretty good. But yeah, I was um, pretty happy with that. So I'll put the data up for the Cobra Big Tour 3 wood on the screen now. This is my average that I was getting with the normal loft, not the 300 yard bomber that I hit. As you can see, a little, a pretty big increase down to the Cobra Raspberry Tour, but my dispersion was a little bit all over the place. So, so yeah, take with that what you will. The Cobra Raspberry Tour, I'll put the data up on the screen now. As you can see for a firewood, yeah, pretty good distance and pretty forgiving. I was, as I said, pretty surprised by this one. So if you're in the market for a firewood, yeah, it's tough because I wouldn't put this in my bag because of the design, but if you are after those smaller heads for your fairy woods, give that one a try because it's still very appealing, but for someone who, like myself, lacks a bit of confidence for fairy woods, I like the bigger the better. So for that one, I would think on certain days when you're trying to hit a shot down 18, down a par five, and you're really 
under pressure, that one wouldn't instill me with that much confidence, but that's because, to be pretty blunt, I'm not good enough of a player to look down at that and think, oh, I'm gonna smash this. So yeah, tough one. There is a Cobra Rad Speed Fairway that has a draw bias, but that would be pretty similar to the clubs we've tested today, so there's no need to review that. It's just different in the radial weighting of the club. So these fairway woods are coming in at an RRP of £229 and are being released to the public at the end of January, so not far away now. For £229, I know it could just be me being clouded by the other clubs that have been released in 2020, but I think it's a pretty fair price. You see fairway woods and drivers nowadays being released and they're up to the £500, £499 mark for drivers, whereas fairway woods they're going up to the £300 mark. So for these fairways being £229, I think that's a really good deal, especially for those big tall three woods because that can kind of rival the driver with the distance that I was getting. So for £229, yeah, pretty decent. For the Golf Magic Medal for the whole Cobra fairway wood range for the Rad Speed, it's a difficult one. I want to be tough as to giving medals to certain brands because I don't want to give every single brand gold because then my opinion would be kind of obsolete because I just end up giving every single brand a gold medal. I don't want that. So what I'm going to do with this one, because I did notice with the 500 especially that the design's a little bit tough to hit, if I was going product by product, I would give the Red Speed Ferry Wood probably a gold star, but I'm going to give it to a whole product range and I'm going to give it a silver just because I feel that the Red Speed 5 Wood design may not cater to everyone. But uh, it's a tough one. I, I wish I could give it a silver and a half, but let's give it a silver for now. But I would say the main talking point out of this video is how amazing that Cobra Rad Speed Fairway Wood is. It caters to everyone, so if you're in the market for a Fairway Wood, give that one a try. It's stunning, and I know you're going to get on with it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's a lot of fun being here at Grey's Golf and hitting Fairway Woods, and I am chuffed that I managed to hit the big tour 300 yards. If you guys do enjoy these types of videos, make sure you leave a like and let me know down in the comments what more you'd like from these reviews, either the technical side, just maybe on the course. We do aim to go out on the course when it when the weather clears up a little bit, so stay tuned for that. But for now, Grey's Golf gives you some pretty decent data. If you guys are new around here, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below to keep up to date with all our equipment news, tour news, and much, much more. I can't say too much about the equipment releases going into next year, but I am as excited as anyone, so stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys in the next video.